Fold it up. No, uh, I'll, I'll try it this way. Uh, uh. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> Excuse me if I just try and fold up this gigantic piece of paper. Have you seen Ben anywhere? <laughs> oh, the sea, the sea, the sea is the place for me. <laughs> hello, everyone. Small! Small! Yes! There you are! Where have you been? Oh, Small, I've just been swimming in the sea! <laughs> look at you! You look a right old mess! And we'll have a customer here any minute! Oh, Small, I do love the sea! The sea's the place for me, you know! It's got so many amazing creatures living in it! <laughs> you look like a sea creature with all that seaweed in your hair, Ben! <laughs> 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 oh, I suppose I'll have to clean this away too, won't I? Hey, you can pretend to be a creature living in the seaweed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that gives me an idea for a game. You can all join in with this one. Ben, you must comb your hair and tidy yourself up. In a minute, Small. OK, here goes. I'm a creature living in the sea. I swim like this. What can I be? Hmm... What do you suppose he is? Oh, I know, I know! You're a fish! A fish! Yes, well done! Here's another one. Ben, you must comb your hair and change your clothes. OK, in a minute, Small. I'm a creature living in the sea. I run along sideways. What can I be? Hmm. Oh, I know, I know! You're a crab! Yes, well done, Small. Time for another one. Ben, you must get yourself ready for cooking. OK, OK, OK. Just one more, though, one more. Here we go. I'm a creature living in the sea with a great big fin. What can I be? Durum, 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 durum. Oh! Do you know? I do. It's a shark. Yes, right again, Small. Well done. One more. Oh, no, Ben, we haven't got time. We've got a customer. You need to comb your hair and change your clothes. I'm on my way! Woohoo! Who's our customer today, Small? Have a guess, Ben. Give us a clue, then. OK, she's beautiful and she lives in the sea and she's got long hair and she's got a fish's tail. Oh, not Miranda the Mermaid. Yep, that's her, and she's right here in our cafe. It's my lucky day. But what can we make for a mermaid to eat? I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. Miranda the Mermaid lived with her father, the King of the Sea, in a beautiful golden cave at the bottom of the ocean. When she grew up, it was time for her to swim to the surface to see the sunshine. So the King gave Miranda a magic comb and said, If ever you are in trouble, just blow on the comb and I will appear. Now, there was a very naughty shark called Seamus, who loved to frighten mermaids. He wasn't frightened of anything, except for humans. He was very frightened of humans. Miranda was sitting on a rock singing. La, 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 la. Seamus followed the sound of Miranda's singing. He zoomed through the water until he was right next to the rock. Then he opened his big mouth and went, boo! This gave Miranda such a fright that she dropped her precious comb. Oh, no! 
I can't call my father because I've dropped my magic comb in the sea, she cried. It just so happened that I was in my little fishing boat and I started to row towards the rock. Miranda was very scared. I had to be quick. I came up behind Seamus just in time. Yuck! Humans! He yelled and he swam away as fast as his big fin could carry him. At that moment, an angelfish popped out of the water with Miranda's magic comb in his mouth. Miranda blew on the comb and instantly the king, her father, appeared. Thanks to you, Small, Seamus the Naughty Shark has stopped frightening mermaids forever. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. It certainly was, Small. Ooh. So the question is now, what can we cook for Miranda the Mermaid to eat? Whoosh! And a very good question is this too, Ben. Hmm. Oh! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. I found it. I found it. What's that? Your comb? I do hope so. <laughs> no, the perfect thing for Miranda. Mermaid soup. <gasps> now that really is perfect. OK, Small, you read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. I do wish you'd tidy your hair, Ben. Later, Small. Miranda can't see me. But I can. <laughs> <laughs> OK, here goes. We're going to need spinach. OK, here we go. Over to the fridge. Spinach. Oh, looks a bit like uh, seaweed, doesn't it? <laughs> Vegetable stock in the cupboard. Here we go. Got that small. Noodles. Noodles as well. Got those small. Bread. Bread in the cupboard too. Got it. And some water. I can get that from the tap later. Oh. There we go. All ready to go. Small, you know something? I've never really thought much about soup. Have you? No, not really. I mean, I wonder how it's made. I don't know, Ben, but I can soon whisk off and find out. Oh, great. Hey, you get everything ready. You might even find your comb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm off. I'll be back before you say there's a noodle in my poodle. <laughs> Hey, why don't you come along too? Way! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. There's a train! Choo-choo! I'm here! This is where soup's made. I wonder what soup they're making. That's a potato. Maybe it's potato soup. Or maybe it's onion. Do you know what they are? They're really big mushrooms. I think it's going to be mushroom soup. All the ingredients have to be put into an enormous pan, ready to be cooked. I've got a wooden spoon just like that. Mix it all up. Mustn't forget the mushrooms. It's mushroom soup. In go the chopped up mushrooms. And the chopped potatoes. already started to cook. It's bubbling away. 
Ah, we know what that is. It's milk. I wonder what that's used for. It's very noisy. It's a blender. It's whizzing up the mixture so it doesn't have any lumps in it. A lovely mushroom soup. I'd better get back to the cafe. Bye. I'm a creature living in the sea. I hide under seaweed. <laughs> what could I be? Way! You're a very big cook. That's what you are. A very big cook with very untidy hair. <laughs> That's because I've been swimming in the sea. I know, Ben, but I also know everything you need to know about soup. I saw mushroom soup being made with lots of vegetables. You can make soup out of anything you like, Ben. That's right, Small. And we're going to make our soup out of noodles and spinach. Whoopee! Let's get cooking! We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. Jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to mermaid soup? You do. There was spinach. One cup. Vegetable stock. Half a cube. Noodles. One packet. Bread. One slice for toasting. And water. Two cups. Whoopee! Let's get started! Actually, Ben, you start the cooking and I'll have a look for your comb. <laughs> I can't bear to see his hair in that mess for that much longer. Now, you need to get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you because it's going to get hot, hot, hot. All we do is put the water in a saucepan to boil. That's one cup. And the other cup. There we go. Turn on the hob. Now you'll know it's boiling when it starts to bubble. Now then, I wonder if Ben's comb is in here. Let's have a look. Hey, I've just had an idea. I could make a shark's fin out of this paper and then hide behind the seaweed with it. I'll give Ben such a fright, just like the shark in my adventure. Woohoo! There, the water's boiling. So now we add our vegetable stock, crumble it in, there we go, and stir it round until it dissolves. Nice and slowly. There we are. And now this is the fun part. I'm going to break the noodles in two. Oh, and pop them in. They'll be done in no time. So we just turn off the heat and pop the lid on. Now, I've already put some bread in to toast. That'll be done very, very soon. Have you found that comb yet, Small? Not yet, Ben. I'm still looking. Can you see I've made the shape of a fin already? This is going so well. Ah, our toast ready. So, we need to cut it into a fish shape. Here's my cutter. It's in the shape of a fish. But you can use any shape you like. This will remind Miranda of her angel fish friend. There we go. Down it goes, and tear away the rest of the bread. All the way round, nearly done. There we go. Now it's time to add our spinach. So, oven glove on, 
off with the lid and pop in the spinach. There it goes. And we need to give it a really good stir. Have you found that comb yet, Small? Not yet. There. What does that look like to you? It's a fin. Good, eh? I'm a naughty shark. Doonum, doonum, doonum. <laughs> I can't wait to fry some Ben. There we are. Noodles are cooked right through. Our soup's ready. So all we have to do now is pour it into a bowl. There we go. Nice and slowly. In it goes. Oh, that looks delicious. And now I'm just going to pop on my toasted fish. There he is. On he goes. Soup's ready, Small. Here I am, Ben, still looking for your comb, but I've had no luck. Well, the soup's ready. Oh, take a look at that, Small. That looks delicious. Yes, it does. So we better get it through to Miranda before it gets cold. Make sure she doesn't see you. You still haven't combed your hair. Oh, <laughs> yeah. One mermaid soup coming through. Oh. There it goes. Whew. All finished. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs. The things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away. Ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell. If we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear. Let's all smile. We'll be finished in a little while. All around. Up and down. We've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. She likes it. She really likes it. Oh, yes, Small. She likes it so much, she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Oh, let's see, shall we? Here we go. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my delicious mermaid soup. It reminded me of the sea, and as you know, I love the sea, and I'd better be getting back. I wanted to give you a little present. It's a magic comb. If you're ever in trouble, you can blow on it and I'll appear. Oh, look, Small. It's a comb. I've got a comb. And not just an ordinary comb. It's a magic comb. Woohoo! La, 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 la. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> small. Small. And I'm a naughty shark. Doodum. Doodum. Doodum, 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 doodum. Oh, go away, <laughs> naughty shark. I've got my magic comb, and if I blow on it, Miranda the Mermaid will appear. Well, at least you've combed your hair for Miranda the Mermaid. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. Cook for everyone.